After using the VLOOKUP uh, function at a basic level, we have also learned uh, how to apply the VLOOKUP function using the named range and also uh, with the match function. Now we will uh, show, we will see actually uh, how the column can be another way, the column function can be another way uh, to substitute the match function uh, for developing the VLOOKUP. A different person may use different way. So some people will use the match function, some people will use the column function. And also, depending on the structure of the uh, data table and all these things, uh, the choice of the appropriate function might differ. Anyway, we're going to see how the column function can be used uh, in these, uh, or can be used to modify the, uh, modify the uh, VLOOKUP function. So uh, let us uh, go and see the function here. Um, let us focus on this portion because this is the column index number. Previously we have used the match function. If you watch the previous video, you will see how we have done that. So let me delete this. Now uh, we want to use the column function to uh, indicate the column index number. To do that, let us let us start with c u uh, c o l u m n column function, and uh, uh, we have to give the reference to the column number. We need to select the name of the column, uh, which is uh, in uh, in cell number f four. Uh, actually, we are not clicking any name. We are clicking the uh, the reference uh, to this cell containing the uh, column heading receivable. Remember, this will return as the column number of the worksheet. So it will give us one, two, three, four, five, sixth column. But actually, the receivables is in the third column of our table array in the VLOOKUP function. So what we need to do, we need to deduct, um, because it is in the third column, So and we are here in the sixth column, so we need to deduct three from here, okay? So it should be uh, F4, um, so this is the column of F4 bracket close, uh, minus six, uh, sorry, minus three, because it will return sixth column, one, two, three, four, five, six, but we want the third one. We have to make sure that we get the uh, appropriate value for the receivable. Now, if we press enter, you can see we are getting the 1200 receivables in April. Okay, but in this case, actually, you know, if you copy to the right, it will not give us the right uh, value because if you copy, it will increase by one value. So in that case, you cannot really change the column. You have to follow the order uh, or of the original table array. Uh, so at first you have to type the customer, then you have to get the receivable, then you will you will be able to copy it to the right, right way. So let us do it again uh, to show how it will work if the order of the column is in, in, in the same manner like the original source of data. Hmm. So here it will be uh, receivables. So in, in this uh, um, perspective, actually um, using match is better uh, than using column. Anyway, let us try to do it. Uh, sometimes uh, column will, can also be appropriate. So uh, let us do it again, equals v look up. Then the lookup value is this one. We will definitely lock the, uh, lock the row because we might need to copy it to the, sorry, we'll lock the column actually as well. Then uh, the table array is going to be uh, the named range uh, we have given. You can see credit cell. Uh, we don't need all these things. because it is in the same worksheet, comma. Now, 
column index number okay column of this one so it is sixth but we need the second column so in now what we will do we will minus four so that we get second one and when we copy it to the right automatically it will increase by one and remember that because we are going to copy it down as well uh, although that is not a problem because it will only look at the column but still i prefer to put a dollar sign so it so that it always refer to this one okay then comma uh, false just like before so now press enter and now you can actually copy because the columns are in order same order of the original table okay so this is how you can use the column function uh, along with vlookup to uh, uh, to find the column reference number appropriately thank you very much i have you have uh, i think you have understood uh, when we can use the column function and when we cannot efficiently use the column function and why the match function could be the better one uh, compared to the column function Thank you very much once again for watching this video.